Minister Monica Msenero says funding is important, but innovators should look beyond and consider innovations as business. Be looking for funding, but you're also getting some funding because innovation must end up in a business. Innovation must end up in a product that brings in money. You will always need some funding, but you should be telling us, I invested here, because innovation is investment, it's not expenditure. If your innovations are not leading to products that are going to bring in money, then it becomes an expenditure. So uh, we need to have that mindset. And what happens when people are always looking? Professor Nixon Kamukama, the university deputy chancellor, expressed and commended the minister for visiting the university, saying they will work closely to ensure students' ideas and innovations are supported. And uh, Mara University being uh, a university of science and technology, there is a lot to, to learn and share uh, with the ministry. And uh, because of the innovations that are taking place here, we need to get connected to the, the ministry so that uh, we, we benefit from the funding that is set aside for research and innovation, so that uh, our innovators and scientists Mumbara University will be in opposition. The head of business and incubation clinic, Dr. Baguma Kule, thanked the government for funding in 2017, amounting to Uganda shillings 260 million, which has helped to develop and fund students' innovations. Education through ADB, that was funded 60 million to foster incubations in Bara University. So from that funding, we have been carrying out some trainings uh, to ensure that uh, innovators move business ideas into viable and profitable businesses. So we have been moving around the whole country and now specifically we are focused on Western Uganda. Last week we were in Vibirizi trying to uh, train entrepreneurs, they use specifically in issues related to businesses as a way of making a foundation towards employability. More than 200 trees were also planted along River Rizi to create public awareness on conservation and environment. Benon Mukwaya.